against Locke. Locke has been to shake his head, but he's got the foul. That's the third against the team for Hunter. Trying to track down a loose ball. They got tangled up with Chuck Bear. Kane has two three zones for his head. They've been in that uh, defense since the start of the ball game. Gonzalez has it on the left side. Off to McCain, now to Hawk. Back to McCain. Top to Keith. Watched in there by number 12. against the Hornets. So the players are yelling at each other out there. They can't even hear the place being called. It's now so the loud. Hornets are in a zone defense. Into a zone, a 2-3 zone of their own. Now Locke puts it up from outside. It's no good. McKay tears down that rebound and brings it quickly up the floor. It's off the Havana. It works to his left. He drops it off the Hawk and the Hornets will slow it down and control the game. Controlling the tempo is the key to this offense. They're not a fast breaking team. McKay gets the ball in short and turns around. from the baseline, and the Hornets are up by four. Coach Goulet studying the way things are going. We might look for him to make a timeout. Things have not been going well for the team. They've been out the court here 8-2. That's about uh, the eight-minute mark in the first quarter. There's a shot of game from the outside by Lock. It's off the game. Lock goes after a loose ball and almost goes. He is quick up here. Yes, he is. He's a very good ball player. Agile athlete. Tonight. It was a pretty one. The Hornets now lead by six. There's McMahon off from the left to Locke. He's not going to try that shot this time. Now it goes off the foot. It goes off the foot. He says it went off the case, but the official doesn't back down, of course, and now a timeout. A timeout called by Rich Goulet of Pitt Meadows, and his team is trailing by six points. We have time to take a 60 second timeout. The Hornets leading 24. Back. A chance to make it a 
10-point lead. And they've really come on here as the home team. Now, Havana takes a long pass, double dribble. That's the second time he's done that here in the first half. Well, once again, the Marauders have went back to pushing their press again, and Coach Rich Coulet giving instructions to his players. And he gave the instructions to his players. Not very happy about it. You can see the veins popping out of his forehead. <laughs> Shot ball shots and the score is 30-20 for the Hornets. Trevor Stevens with the play-by-play. -play. Well, Fair had a chance at a three-point play there and couldn't get the free throw as it just bounced off the rim. So the Hornets continue to lead here by 10 points. A shot from the outside from McDonald is no good. Rebounded nicely by Carrington, who plays a lot bigger than the side. Carrington is six foot one, but really has the spring. Now Carrington from the outside. Looks at a 15-footer, watched by Gonzalez. Feeds it off to Leroy. Leroy Severson, there's a shot from the outside, no good by McDonald. And the Hornets couldn't control the rebound. Spencer McKay has a chat with the official. Who's picking up the foul? But I don't think there was a foul on it. Spencer McKay talking to the official, we're not sure what about. Just a violation, but the Marauders will come up with the ball. He seems to be the uh, point guard on this offense, although at times we've seen number 12, uh, Rich can take control. Now Severson from the outside is so good on the rebound. Rejected in there by the team. Rich can the The team is off the hot. Now the has the ball back, driving the baseline, almost boosts it. Passes it back off to Havana, outside to Garzelvis. And the Hornets slow it down. They're a control offense team. has been impressive the last two games. He played very well in the semifinals. Didn't get a lot of points, but was a very important part of, part of the offense, beating the K underneath, especially in the fourth quarter. He didn't get a lot of floor time really until the fourth quarter. He's done a great job in the semis from here tonight. Now a great rebound by Gunn All Gunn Devils got up there and rebounded that one. And Hawk hustling up the floor was Che 
trick by uh, Scott Carrington, who got back a defense and knocked the ball out of bounds. So the Hornets with a 12-point lead. They're feeling a little more comfortable about this. The Dorfler comes into the game now. Dorfler, 5'10", first man off the bench, as usual. He replaces number 10, Sean Fair. Hornets on the right side. McKay on the perimeter, working it to Hawk. Hawk has it go out of bounds.
taking the case plate, McKay on the bench. Now, one second shot left on the shot clock. The Hornets will inbound and try to get a shot off. Havana's knocked it down, and there's a the shot clock the there. Clock. They didn't start the shot clock. What do we have here? Rich Goulet, coach of the Pitt Meadows Club, got you have you. I don't blame him, Trevor. They didn't start the shot clock. And he's got a complaint to the referee. The referee has a little thing to do with Rich Goulet at the same time. Ron Lee is up. And uh, now he is giving it. The keeper in charge of that clock has a word to say to uh, Goulet as well. As they draw back and forth. The official has indicated all the coaches. I think they were kicking a little dirty, Julie, on that one, Trevor. <laughs> it was the Billy Martin syndrome up there for a moment. Now Ian Gibson. Emotions are running high, Trevor. Ian Gibson I, is still standing up at the scores bench. Rich Goulet, he is an emotional fellow, but I kind of have to stand up for him on this one, I think. The shot clock didn't go. The ball was out of bounds. There was two passes, and the clock still wasn't running. But the Marauders will come up with the ball. 57 seconds left in the first half of Marauders down by 12, and the Hornets in their zone defense. Underneath, traveling by a major game to the third. What, third? I think that's I third believe, I believe it is, Trevor, yeah. Half. Severinsky losing his composure a little bit, maybe under the pressure of this ball game. On the right side, the Hornets controlling things with Dorfler, fitting it off the box, now works to the left. Fair double team in there. Thank you. 